Okay, so how do you spawn objects over UNet? Very simple. Gonna teach you how to do it. Takes like two seconds, but we're gonna run through um, the whole like spawn script. Uh, if you already have something to spawn something, skip this part. Just go straight to the method that we're gonna create to spawn objects. But <clears throat> if you don't, just follow. I'm gonna explain a few things in here too. So if you want to stay here for that, you can. I'm just gonna go ahead and make my spawn script. <coughs> You want to make sure you have it um, as a network behavior. So you're going to change it to network behavior. Okay. Now, um, oh yeah. For the object that you want to spawn, right? You, uh, I want to spawn this. I don't know why I put two of them. What the heck? You see that, right? That's a glitch. This is not even there. Okay. Let's just ignore him. <coughs> so I want to spawn this uh, when I press a button, right? You want to add a network identity. Uh, you don't want to check any of this. If you want to spawn the position of the object, you want to add a transform. But I'm not going to do that. So go ahead and apply that. And um, yeah. Now you want to go to your network manager under registered spawnable prefabs. Put that prefab under there. Basically what this tells the server, um, it doesn't tell the server anything. What it does is it registers the prefab for the server so that anybody who wants to spawn something can ask the server to spawn that object. So yeah, and I think it holds like its own secret like object ID or whatever to where it'll know what you want to spawn. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I'm not going to make a series on networking because I don't really know everything. I just know how to do stuff. <laughs> you know, I can't explain. I know how to do stuff. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and make it public game object object to spawn. And we want to make a public transform spawn point. All right. And uh, I guess we can go ahead and set that up. So on your player, you want to add this script. There we go. Don't know why I did that. Because I have to do this. I guess I'll use the player's position. I don't care. The object would be this. And we want to press apply. So now... Um, like I said, you can skip this part if you already have something to spawn stuff, but I don't. So, um, if input dot get get key key code dot h, that's what we're gonna do. So when I press h, spawn something right here. And um, this script doesn't have that uh, other script that tells players to disable and enable certain scripts for certain people so we're just gonna go ahead and do if you're not the local player I can't even talk and type if you're not the local player get out of this um, method here so return that's what that says so if I am the local player do this if I'm myself do this um, if I'm not myself get out of this that's what that says so now we're going to go ahead and make the method to spawn stuff. So we're going to do void spawn my crap. How about that? How about that? All right. Anyways, you do that. <coughs> and <coughs> we're just going to do something simple. Instantiate. I was thinking about doing something very advanced, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to keep it simple. So, basic, uh, just if you try this out now, when you, if you put it here, when you uh, press H, it'll just spawn an object on the spawn point. <laughs> That's all this does. I mean, we can make it do some cool, like debug.log and say, yay, spawned your craft. 
you know, make you say something crazy like that. Now, right now, the only part of this script that's like networked is this part telling the server that if I'm only the local player, do this. So, to I don't know, to spawn objects over a network, you have to add a command over that and add cmd in front of that copy that put that where you want to spawn it and that's about it well no it's not you have to actually uh where you spawn the object you want to save it at in a local variable i guess that's what that's called i just know this is how you save stuff inside of a method you want to save it in a local variable right we're going to call them local variables they not not blah, 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 blah. okay so network server, uh, well, network server dot spawn is what you want to do to spawn the object over the network, and we want to do that. Now, I don't know how this works completely. I just know that this is gonna ask the server commands ask the server from the client. I think it asks the server, "Hey, instantiate this object for me, and then s spawn it on the server for everyone else." That's my understanding of it <laughs> so that's that's it's that simple really and um so when I press this button here do this and yeah that's about it really you can um after this you can add destroy and then you can be like destroy destroy the game object after two seconds uh, you can also change variables before you spawn it on the server so like Say if I had a script on it and I want to get it, you can do like go dot get component and change stuff, you know. But we just uh, taking care of spawning. So this is now networked fully and it should work. So first of all, I do have errors. So let's see, I spelled something wrong. Let's just get rid of it because it doesn't really matter. Oh, didn't have a what's it called there. All right. So uh, to test it out. We can click on play and uh, look at my beautiful scene. I press H. You can see it spawns. Um, that's not cool enough. Let's see. We're gonna actually do the transform. So you want to add a network transform to it. We're gonna turn this up. We're gonna sync a rigid body and um, I'm going to add a rigid body to it and a uh, sorry you can skip this part but I just want to have fun so box collider I'm not sure all right yeah it fits okay <coughs> so now they should fly all over the place when I press H yeah look at that so that probably cost me some money on bandwidth but it's okay you know <laughs> when it's an accident all right if you build it out now you should see it work uh, you don't really have to continue watching this video but I mean I mean I'm pretty sure it worked are you sure it worked I'm pretty sure it worked I mean I've done it only like a million times but let's see all right sorry my water shader was breaking the game making it crash so I had to get rid of it but um, we connect here as a client. I don't know why it minimizes it when it does that, but we're gonna host it <clears throat> Now here if I press H you can see it spawns and over here if I press H it spawns also so There we go, so that's how you spawn objects over the network. It's that simple really Look at them float. That's really cool. We probably shouldn't do that anyways that should work if it doesn't.